Testimony of the Rapture of the Swedish Marcus Finsson My name is Marcus Finsson, I am Swedish, I live in the city of Sala in Sweden, I am a Christian and missionary of a small church in my neighborhood, I will tell you how my life was, starting with a car accident where during a car trip I ended up banging my car on a wall, I was going to minister the word in a city close to mine. The message I give to all the missionaries or preachers who are ministering the word of God is to live a holy life so that they won't be surprised by death at any moment, death does not warn when it comes, sometimes it does not give time to repent, the important thing is to be with God all our lives, day and night, I will tell my experience during the time that I was hospitalized in a state of coma for three days breathing through the apparatus, although my body was in a coma. My soul knew everything that was happening, I saw when my spirit left my body, I saw when I was with the breathing apparatus, I saw a monster of death surrounding my bed, that demon was death I have no doubt, it was the first creature that I stared after my spirit left my body when I was in that hospital, I saw devils collecting souls of the deads in the hospital, they chained these souls, I saw black holes opening on the floor of the hospital and people came down with those demons to hell. I was very scared at that moment because I was in debt to God and I started to remember when God used a man of God who said I had to minister in a city, but I did not go to minister because I did not want to, I want to tell you, never say no when God says go, remember the prophet Jonah, I remembered also when I promised to minister in the church of Pastor Anders and did not, the Christian's word is yes, yes or no. I'm saying this because the angel of the Lord rebuked me and said that I was at fault and had to agree on two things, either promise a thing and fulfill it, if I cannot fulfill it, then reject it, demonic world, when my spirit crossed the wall of that hospital and stood outside I saw a totally different world, I saw legions of demons flying through the air and other legions on earth, I was scared as I was alone, if you could see the spiritual world with the carnal eyes you would go crazy because it is terrible, the spiritual world influences the physical world in such a way that I did not know, the angel of the Lord appeared to me and said, the spiritual world is at war because of the word of God and the lie of the devil, the angel took me to an unknown church, I saw a deacon preaching in the pulpit and the angel said to me, this deacon is a single man and is in fornication with a young woman in the church, the angel began to show the sins of several people inside that church, he said, look at that group of praise, I looked and saw many young men among young women and young men and the angel said, the youth here is at fault with God, they engage with people of the world, many young men and women are falling into fornication, Satan uses boys of the world to come to the churches to divert youth from the way of the Lord, these young people are possessed and they do not want to marry. They just want to destroy their spiritual lives, they kiss and live with each other, but do not want a serious commitment, 2 Corinthians 6 14 Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And the angel said, The youth waits no longer in the Lord to bring the right marriage partner to them, Psalms 40, 1 says, I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined unto me, and heard my cry, the angel showed me the pastor of that church and said, this pastor watches pornographic movies with his wife and teaches his church that watching movies stimulates the relationship and that it is good to hold the marriage, he is preaching on the altar in sin, he and his wife practice all kinds of the sexual abomination that the movies teach, he is a practitioner of oral and anal sex, he teaches the church to do the same, he induces a whole congregation to sin, he encourages people to watch these fiendish movies to spice up their sex lives, Matthew 23 13 But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in, pornography is the master of that shepherd, our Lord Jesus is the only one that makes the marriage last. Let the churches know that it is only the people praying for their marriages that keeps divorce away, tell the people to never stop praying for their marriages and God will bless them, money. The angel transported me from that church and we went to another church. 
The angel said, This is the church that you refused to come to when the Holy Spirit would have used you as his servant. This church is in disharmony with God. Only those who give more offerings and greater tithes get positions and offices in that church. Those who give tithes and the minor offerings cannot get jobs. Warn this church that God does not measure character by the amount of money. The angel of the Lord pointed me to two men and said, These men are unemployed, they use this time to earnestly seek the presence of the Lord, they are prepared men, but because they do not give their tithes and their offerings they were prevented from ministering and they cannot hold office, God is opening the door of employment to exalt these servants, but warn this church that God measures the degree of spirituality through obedience and perseverance, not by the positions that are granted man can have the highest office in his ministry, but if he is not living a life of obedience according to the word of God, he is nothing, man can be recognized on earth by his preaching, may hold respectable church office, but if he is not walking as the word says, he may be known in the world, but to God, he is a stranger, positions in church evangelism. The angel pointed to the pastor and said, he has an exalted position in church but does nothing in the church, he burdens his sheep with heavy loads, only knows how to charge fees for pastoral services, but he is not a good example for them. Today's churches are run like worldly companies, the higher the position of the church worker, the more they are served by those in the lower ranks, those of lower positions serve those who occupy the higher offices, those who hold lower offices do more work in the harvest, Luke 22:25 says, and he said unto them, the kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called masters, Marcus, among the people of the world this works in political and corporate governments, but in the body of Christ, things are not like that, the spiritual world of God is the inverse of the physical world, in Luke 22 26 and 27 it is written, but ye shall not be so, but he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and he that is chief, as he that doth serve, for where there is greater, he that sitteth at table, or he that serveth? Is not he that sitteth at table? But I am among you as he that serveth, the greater the ministerial position the more he has to work, the more important the person is in his ministry. The more he has to serve than the less important, this will cause him to avoid pride and exaltation. This is the spirit of greatness as found in Philippians 2, 5 9 Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross, wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name. Jesus emptied himself of his glory to serve the earth and humbled himself in the death of the cross to be exalted today, warn this church that those exalted by men will be humbled, but those who are humbled by men will be exalted by God, tell the shepherd of this church to leave its comfort and to work in the harvest, therefore, the only one that commands is Jesus, he is the head of the body, then a verse came to my mind, John 10:16. 17 There are other sheep that are not of that fold, but I must lead them also, they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock and one shepherd, my father loves me, because I give my life to take it back, I realize that pastors also have to go out evangelizing to win souls, satanic churches antichrist, the angel of the Lord took me to another church, I do not know if this church was inside or outside my country. I just know that when I entered that church I felt a strange sensation, it was not like the others I had entered, when I stepped there in that place I saw several demons, but they were not walking inside the church, they were incorporated in each member that was there. The angel of the Lord allowed me to see devils attached to them inside their bodies, I looked at the shepherd who was on top of that pulpit, I saw his face transfigured in the face of a terrible demon, I said to the angel, no this cannot be happening, I ministered in several churches and never saw it, what does that mean? Is this a church? The angel said, these are satanic infiltrators, satanists, and sorcerers who open churches and pass themselves up as shepherds, 
they are agents of the demons, and I asked, these people cannot see anything? The angel said, these blind people obey their doctrines without questioning, look at their faces, when I looked at them, I saw they had no eyes, there were holes in place of their eyes. The angel said, the spirit of Antichrist of those who are against the precepts of Christ already reign on earth, the purpose of these agents of Satan is to corrupt the other churches with their doctrines, they have goals, they have great knowledge of the word, have great theology and positions, all this benefits them to be called to go preach in any church through their status. The angel said, Marcus if there was a person in this church with eyes open, the Holy Spirit would be in that place, he would use that person to open the eyes of others, when you stepped on that spot, you perceived a strange sensation, that is the absence of the Holy Spirit in that place, I asked the angel, as Satan is bold, he is already placing his soldiers within our ministries, the angel said, Marcus, warn the churches not to get carried away by the fame and status of preachers and their diplomas of positions, warn the church to watch, do not open the doors for strangers to minister, it is better to give the opportunity to the little ones of the same church that the pastor already knows than to give the opportunity to an unknown preacher. The angel said, look at these people's hands, I looked and saw their hands were chained. The angel said, these people live in blind obedience, but if they know the truth they will come out of the deceit and receive the deliverance of these demons that are in their bodies. Tell the church to ask for the gift of discernment and of the vision, false shepherds. The angel said, Marcus, I have to take you to hell to complete the revelations I have shown you, I said, no angel, it is already fine, I'll say everything that you have shown me is enough already, no help please, do not take me there. The angel said, fear not man, I know that this fear that comes upon you is because you are in sin, I will not leave you down there. God has great work with you, as I spoke. The angel calmed me down, because my conscience accused me of the sins that I had committed. The angel said, what will be revealed to you are two classes of pastors, those pastors who have pacts with Satan, who are opening up heretic churches to contaminate the others, and the other class of pastors is the ones who will open churches not to save souls, but to fulfill their financial ambitions. Both types of pastors have pacts with Satan. The third class of pastors does not have pacts with the devil but they open churches for trade and merchandising the faith, their names are already recorded in hell, fornication, we went down to hell, the first place the angel took me was a place where I saw several young women suffering in hell, they had been seduced by young men of the world and fell into fornication. I saw young men who had left the church because of the worldly women they were involved with, I saw the demons afflicting these souls and saying, it was we who entered these women to overthrow your faith, and with the girls, the demons spoke the same way they had entered the body of those boys to seduce them into hell, I saw girls and boys who had no serious commitment, they were kissing each other, the angel gave me this verse in 1 Corinthians 7, 9 but if they cannot contain, let them marry, for it is better to marry than to burn, broken promises. The angel took me to a place in the hell of the believers who made promises to God and they did not fulfill, they vowed and they did not pay, they promised that they would minister in other churches and they did not ask for pardon to the shepherd whom they promised. Ministry, I saw brothers that walked like the prophet Jonas, God sent them to win souls and they did not go, God gave them gifts, but they did not use. God raised up as preachers, but they did not want to minister, they did not want to evangelize and to win souls, I saw men whom God raised up as pastor, but rejected the calling, all these were under the same conditions as the prophet Jonah disobedience and a refusal of his calls, I saw how these men repented and cried like Jonah asking for a chance to do everything differently and start from scratch, but it was too late for them, false Pentecost. The angel and I went to another place in hell, arriving there I saw Satan happy with the news of his agents, I saw that the devil was talking about the plan of the agents who had covenants, they were introducing several churches on earth to false gifts, false visions, false prophecies, false revelations etc. The angel said, 
The demons who are allied with Satanist pastors will want to imitate the same Holy Spirit manifestation that happened in Pentecost, anointings to be shed that does not come from Christ. Satan's purpose is to destroy the churches that are still healthy through these churches of these agents. Many people have stopped congregating in the midst of a holy people to congregate with these false shepherds and many souls who begin to go to these churches will be deceived and will go to hell because they do not know the scriptures, the word is that saves and releases, the purpose of Satan is to defile the churches that keep the word of truth and send the greatest number of souls to hell and through the churches of these wizards will be born other churches following the same gospel. Warn the serious church is not to walk in the teachings of these ministries, I looked into the face of the angel and saw sadness and concern, he said, because of these new churches founded by these sorcerers who are pastors, many holy churches that keep the word of truth will corrupt themselves with this false gospel, warn the churches that the Holy Spirit will only fill those who live a holy life, already for those who live a life in sin and seek the Holy Spirit. He will not come as long as they do not repair the altar, many brothers who have not given up iniquity are deceived by the devil, demons are already pouring their anointing and making strange fire fall into the lives of many bewildered brothers and they believe that it is the Holy Spirit and give place to the strange fire entering them, they do not ask for discernment for God to show them the truth, they do not evaluate their lives first to have a notion if they are prepared to receive the Spirit of God. They do not pray and consecrate themselves to God to free themselves from sin, evil and the devil, warn them that the Spirit of God is clean and pure, first, clean your house and then invite the Holy Spirit to live inside you, those who do not obey the word walk in disobedience, if a strange fire appears, then it is not the Holy Spirit, first he frees the person, then he cleans him and then anoints and uses him for service. Warn them to repent and consecrate their altars so that the fire of the Holy Spirit will fill them. In the next few years, many false churches will be founded and incited by Satan to spread a gospel that is not of the kingdom. Pastors interested in money are founding these churches not to save souls, but to promote only for their own self interests. Money? The angel and I went to another section of hell. I saw when the demons cut off a man's wrist and plucked out his hands. The angel said, this man is here because he sold the gift of the word that the Holy Spirit gave him, he sold what does not belong to him, God gives the gift but does not take money from his servants. He charged in the churches and as he became better known, he increased his asking price for schedules, those who sell the name of Jesus will pay a high price in hell, warn the churches to minister for love, without interests, the Holy Spirit will touch the hearts of people to help with offerings. Remember that just as God sent the crows to feed Elijah, he will send people to help his servants, tell the people not to merchandise the word and praise of God, warn the church to watch, for the number of false shepherds will increase, gospel music, I looked and saw a devil who praised Satan, he had a stringed instrument in his hands that I had never seen on earth, I realized that he played several rhythms that I had seen on earth. The angel said that the songs that became hits and successes in the world were produced in hell first and when a singer made a pact with Satan that song from hell was given to that singer to succeed, I saw several rhythms in hell as the rock, rap, samba, rap, salsa, foro, and other rhythms, I asked what this meant, the angel answered me, these are the rhythms that praise Satan in hell and on earth, these rhythms are already entering the church. Satan is seeking to destroy the praises of worship. These new rhythms of praise are of Satan. Warn the people of God that these rhythms of praise God do not receive in heaven, for they are not his. Tell the people not to offer any praise. The angel said, the demons inspire the composers of the world to record to the world and are now inspiring evangelical composers who do not have the Holy Spirit. Their hearts are trapped in materialism. I saw in hell several names of record companies of music. The angel said, these recorders you have seen do not record labels for those who sing for the world, these record labels are for the Levites of the house of the Lord, the true evangelical labels are the minority, they do not aim for profit which is unlawful in the house of God, the great evangelical labels compete among themselves to win a larger share of the world market, 
These market the praise of God and most of their owners have made pacts with Satan in exchange for recognition of their companies. They follow all the coordinates of Satan to corrupt the singers of God. Satan will give his offering to the Levites giving fame, success, and money and many of them will accept his offerings. One day Satan offered fame and success to our Lord, but he overcame. Still today Satan offers to take many Levites to hell and all those who deal with Satan will come to this place, if any Levite wants to record praises, he should do so for God's pleasure and not to be enriched and seek fame. The angel warned me about the unclean praises that did not glorify God but had in their lyrics things that are from the earth and not spiritual. The angel said that there is yet a great singer making praises of provocation to his enemies inciting envy. The angel said that those praises that spread disputes are not from God, the angel showed a vision in hell, I saw a great football stadium on earth full of people worshipping singers who sang praises, that singer finished singing and received a large sum of money. The angel said, there will come a time that many will be made rich with praise. They will not praise God out of love anymore, tell the Levites not to sell the praise of God by charging high prices in the churches. Do not covet what exalts the name of the Most High God, after the angel showed me that we went up to earth and he gave me to order and I went back to my body, that was the third day that I was hospitalized, I recovered from the accident, the doctor discharged me and I told my experience, many were scared, but they believed me, after that day I changed all my thoughts, I never rejected an invitation to minister in the churches, many churches where I went were awakened with this testimony, all the brothers, regardless of the church that you are in, God wants a covenant with you, you are not to come and warm the church pews, you are the light in your congregation, shine through the darkness, never let them blind your eyes, have the discernment when you are in the church and you will not fall into the enemy's trap, we are in constant spiritual warfare, there is no time to say that all is well without checking with the word, the demons attack all the ministries of the world, it is time to pray, it is not the time to fight for positions and let Satan win the war, let us unite in one love and in one faith and together we will conquer. The peace of the Lord Jesus is with all, Amen.